So this is my thermal store heating project for a 35 by 14 foot polytunnel. The idea is that it, we will collect hot air during the day, pump it underground, store that heat and then slowly release it at night. So I'll show you all the elements that's going to make it. So we've got this 3 meter PVC down pipe. That will be mounted at the end of this pipe down here, which will then go up to the top of the polytunnel up to this height. We'll then put an extractor fan on there, which will suck in air, 20 watt extractor fan doing 85 meters, cubic meters uh, an hour. Suck the air down. Now it will then go down through this pipe, which is 100 mil on the outside. Um, so it should fit nicely with this PVC pipe, which is 100 mil on the inside, which will then fit nicely with the extractor fan, which is 100 mil output. They will then get pumped through here. The tubing I'm using is 25 meters long. I said 100 mil outside diameter, 80 mil inside diameter. So that should be plenty enough to get um, a good airflow through. It's also perforated. That's because if we get a lot of condensation in the pipe, we want it to be able to drain out so it doesn't fill with water. It will then go down one. It will be in a, it's in a one foot deep trench, which goes the whole of the polytunnel. So it starts at this end over here, goes all the way down, right to the end, curves round, comes back up. That should have a good heat exchange from a lot of the soil throughout the polytunnel. Then if that's not enough, it's then going to come here, it's going to go round this oil tank, and then into the oil tank and blow air over the water. And this oil tank is 1,200 litres, which will fill with water, which should give a good energy store because water is a very good water holder. It's also we've got low groundwater here. That's the groundwater in the bottom. So there will be some exchange with the groundwater. Hopefully it's not fast moving and it doesn't take too much of the heat away. But um the rest of it should be safe from the groundwater. But in 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 the middle of winter that will actually be a benefit because it's, at the moment it's 15 degrees at groundwater and it shouldn't get a lot colder in the winter so we should be able to pump out some heat even if there's no heat during the day in the polytunnel so that's the setup i'll try and do an update when i've got it complete and then i'll try and do an update when i've had it tested to see if it actually works should increase the temperature by a couple of degrees but that might be enough just to keep the frost off